Hey Kickstarters, thank you so much for backing the Atlas project. I want to talk to you a little bit about how to get your Oculus Rift to run off of USB instead of running off of the wall power. Now there's this great hack on Hackaday where somebody figured out how to solder the actual circuit board inside your Oculus to get it to connect from the USB to the power port and run your whole Oculus off of USB. Now a lot of you probably don't want to endanger your most precious oculi, Oculuses, and want to try to do this without soldering. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. All it's going to require is a power cord, possibly a buzz saw that you can hear outside the window. Um, you can use either wire strippers or just a regular pair of scissors. And you're going to need a USB A to whatever this might be. This is actually an old attempt um, where I soldered a, a power cable to the USB, but I figured you, since you were trying to avoid soldering, maybe we'll skip that. So I'm actually going to cut this off. And then I'm also going to cut off my power cord. Now go ahead and leave a little bit of room, just in case you mess up stripping something, you want to be able to go back, cut it off, and, and try again. So just, okay. So now that we have cut off your AC adapter, we're going to take this part, carefully split the two wires, and you're going to notice one of these wires has dashes and one of them does not. It'll have like little writing on it. So the one that's got the big long sort of gray dashes, that's the one that you're going to end up connecting to the red wire on your USB. I'm going to say this about 500 times because it is the only thing you need to remember not to mess up your system. So see how we're stripping this? And go ahead and just give them a twist just to keep the ends together. And then we've got our USB cord, which we cut apart. And we're just going to strip that. Now you're going to see four wires inside the USB cord. Um, the green and the white, those ones are going to be data. You don't need to worry about those. The ones you need to be looking at are the power cables, which are the black one and the red one. You just strip off the outer insulation there. And if you, if you mess it up, don't worry about it. Just cut it off and do it again. Um, you, got, you got plenty of cable unless you somehow cut it freakishly close to one end. Okay, so now we've got quite a bit. I'm just going to give those a little twist again. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the dashed one and we're going to twist it to the red one. Because the dashed one is going to be the center of the power adapter. So it's that little prong in there and we want it to get the positive power. Ah, one thing I forgot. You're also going to need wire nuts from Radio Shack um, or wherever. Now, these things are about $2.50 for a pack of a lot, uh, 16 I think. And we're just going to grab two of the gray ones because those are about the right size. So again, dashed one to red. If you mess this up, it could be bad, but it's very simple, so have some confidence. So then you're going to twist that wire nut on and make sure it gets all the way in there. You'll actually feel it grip. And then we're going to do the undashed one. You can almost think of it as a solid black one to the black cable. Okay, so now that these are good and tight, we are going to plug it into our laptop's USB port. So then you're just going to take your new USB to power cord, plug it into your Oculus, and power it up. Ta-da! So now with no soldering and with only a couple minutes, you've got yourself a USB to power cord. And this is very important because when we start throwing our laptops into our backpacks so we can use an Atlas system and run around inside a virtual world, you're going to want that to happen. One more tip for everyone. Go ahead and take this, which is not the strongest connection in the world, and I would use uh, any sort of tape. Electrical tape would be fine, but if you only got scotch laying around, just tape it like that. And that'll act as a strain relief. So inside your backpack, if it gets tugged on, it tugs on the wire instead of your connection. At the risk of being redundant, there's really only two ways you can mess up your gear. 
If you have wires exposed at the end of your power cable and they touch each other and you plug it in, it's gonna smoke your adapter, which is not something you probably wanna do, so just avoid that situation. Um, the other way is to reverse the polarity on the USB to power. All you have to do is make sure that red wire goes with the dashed wire on the little power plug and the black wire goes with the black wire. Then you'll be totally fine. This all comes from Michael Moffat's project on Hackaday where he figured out that you could solder your power adapter to your USB cable on the actual Oculus board because the Oculus only draws about 600 milliamps and USB is only rated for 500 milliamps but it can power up to 600 in general fairly easily. It's possible you could have a problem with that. I have yet to have any sort of issue, and it's been great because now I run the Oculus off my laptop battery and it makes the whole backtop situation and walking around in a virtual world a lot easier. Thanks again for supporting the project, and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon.